that I am running 4.3. Go to settings. More. About device. 4.3. Another thing I want to tell you while we're here. Uh, if you don't have developer options like I do. In the previous screen go into about phone. Go into build number. And just keep tapping it. And then go back. Go into developer options. Make sure USB debugging is on. Just another thing I'm going to show you. I do not have super user anywhere here. So let's get started. First thing you're going to need is a few files. They'll be in the description below. One of them is going to be Pond Kernel, Original Kernel. Then you're going to need Safe Root. And you're also going to need Odin. So the first thing we're going to do is open Odin. My Odin is going to look a little different than the one that you're going to download. I'm using an older version, uh, partly because I just never downloaded it. My old one works fine. Now the next thing you want to do is go to the the device and you want to put it in downloading mode okay in order to do that you want to power it off or do a battery pull hold volume down and power you'll come to a screen like this when you get to this screen press the volume up and connect it to the USB. I do apologize, I have two hands, can't hold the camera and plug the phone in. Okay, once the phone's plugged in, Odin will recognize it. Your comm will be yellow. Then we want to go to the PDA. Find the file, pond kernel, open that, then after that you want to click start, you'll see it doing everything down here, it'll watch up here, it'll boot, reset, pass. Show you all threads are complete. Success. The phone will reboot. Okay, once you get your pass, close Odin out. Once your phone boots back up, go into your settings, make sure your development. USB debugging is still on. Once you're in short of that, then what I normally do is I unplug my USB. Then I open Safe Root. I have to extract it. Then I click Run. Then I plug my phone back into the USB. You'll get a message like this, click OK. Then you'll see it says press any key to continue. And this is where we wait.
let it do its thing. Be patient. Don't rush it. Patience is one thing I've learned. If you're like me and patient, go have a cigarette, a drink, something. Let it do its thing. The last thing you want to do is unplug it in the middle of this. I've been up for like four hours trying to figure this out. I finally got it. What happened was uh, my wife did a warranty replacement. And then when the replacement came, it had 4.3 on it. And we were unable to root it. And she has a lot of games that she enjoys. Like we have an app, but we get free in-app purchases. She likes to play certain games. Well, she wasn't able to do that. Now, one other thing I want to bring up. Uh, since you flashed that kernel, that pond kernel, that's an old kernel. So now your Wi-Fi is not going to work or anything. But don't be alarmed. There's a fix for that. As soon as we're done here, we're going to go back to Odin. And we're going to flash the original kernel back. And once that's done... Your Wi-Fi will work again, and you'll have root. Okay, it says, your device will reboot. Press any key to continue. Uh, my device did not reboot, but we're going to press any key to continue to see what happens. I pressed any key. The phone is rebooting now. Now it's waiting for device. Apologize, this is a long video, but I don't edit none of my videos, so... If I make any mistakes, I leave them in. That way, if you make the same mistake, you know how to get around it. Or what error you might have made. Still waiting on device. Look on the device, you'll get super user, press grant. I do want to add, um, in the process of this, I was getting messages on the phone. I didn't show that, unfortunately. Uh, I wasn't paying attention, and when I did see it, I just pressed OK. And it was basically asking for the computer's fingerprint. I just clicked OK. Uh, now it says exit, press any key to continue. Now, you'll come to the device, and you'll see that you do have super user, but when you open it, it'll say it doesn't have a binary. Oh, mine does. Okay, the first time I did this, it didn't, and all I had to do is reboot the phone, and it worked fine. Um, now, to show you that the Wi-Fi doesn't work, we'll go to settings. Wi-Fi, you gotta turn it on. As you can see, it goes to the on position, but won't turn on. So now we gotta fix that. So we'll go back to the computer. We'll close this out. We're done with this safe route. Close that out. Now we're gonna open Odin again. Okay, Odin's open. It recognizes my phone, but I'm not in download mode. So now we've got to go back to that. So now what I'm doing is powering down the device. We're doing a battery pull. I prefer a battery pull. It's quicker. Doing the same thing now. Volume down and power button. Hold them. Come back to this screen. Press volume up. Oh, I hit cancel. 
Sorry about that. Like I said, I made a mistake. I'm not going to edit that out. Volume down, power. Back at this screen. Volume up. We're back at this screen. We're going to plug in our USB device. Okay, Odin recognizes it again because it's yellow. Now we're going to go to PDA. Now wherever you download and save this file to, there's the pawn kernel. We don't want that. Now we want the original kernel. Open it. We're going to start. As you can see down here, it's doing its thing. Sending the boot image. Shows our status up here. Reset. Pass. Yeah. All threads complete. Success. We're done. Now we're going to close that out. As you can see, it shows the unlock. I don't know if you've seen that. It was pretty quick. Alright, the phone is up and running again. Lovely messages with that 4.3. I love them. We have our super user here. It works. We'll go into the Play Store. Download Root Checker. Oh, I gotta sign in real quick. Give me a moment, I apologize. Signing in. Oh, messed up. All right, well, that's signing in. We'll just have to wait. Okay, now we'll do root checker. Nope. Guess I better learn how to spell. Wonder what the problem is. Let's see if Wi-Fi is working. Wi-Fi is working. Let me connect the Wi-Fi real quick. This seems to be an issue. So what we'll do is we'll restart the phone. Because we did just flash that new kernel. So we'll restart it and see what happens. Like I said, patience. Back. 
shows our custom unlock, showing that we are rooted. But I'm still not happy. I want to see that root access show up. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. It'll work now. All I needed was a reboot. But I'm glad I left that on there. Because if you had that problem. Now you know how to solve it. And we will verify that uh, regular data is working. Means that we're using Wi-Fi right now. Now, if there's anything in this video, uh, like if you want me to redo the video and, you know, focus in on anything different, uh, let me know. Like I said, uh, I don't edit my videos. This is like my second or third video, I think. So there's always room for improvement, right? Verify route. Grant. Congratulations, we have root access. Thanks, guys. Comments below.